Dividing with exponents with more than one variable, um, it looks like crazy complicated, but it's not. As long as we keep the variables separate, we can solve these problems pretty easily. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Let's do um, x to the third, y to the fourth, over x to the sixth, y squared. Okay, uh, we've got x's and y's on the top and the bottom. Like I said, let's just keep the x's and the y's separate. x to the third, that's x times x times x, over x to the sixth. That's x, 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 x. Okay, uh, remember there's a battle going on here. Who's gonna win? Oh man, the guys on the bottom are totally gonna win. There's six of them versus three on top. The three guys on top are gonna take out three of the guys on the bottom, but we're still gonna have three x's in the bottom. That's x times x times x. That's x to the third. The x's are done. Y's. We've got y, 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 y <laughs> up top, y to the fourth, over y squared. That's y, y. We got a battle of the y's. I think the Y's on top are gonna win, because there's four of them. Two of the guys in the bottom will take out two on the top, but there's still gonna be two Y's on top. Y times Y, also known as Y squared. So your final answer is gonna be Y squared over X to the third. That's how we're dividing with more than one variable.